Sagutan natin tong problems. Multiply the following. Let's start with 1. x plus 2 times 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. So kung meron tayong product of a binomial 2 terms and a trinomial 3 terms, ang gagawin natin dito is multiply lang natin yung first term nitong binomial sa bawat terms ng trinomial. Then after the first term, ito namang second term ng binomial, multiply din natin sa bawat terms ng trinomial. So let's start with x times 2x squared. Then plus x times negative 3x. Then plus x times positive 1. Right? Tapos dito naman sa 2, multiply naman natin sa first term. So you have 2 times 2x squared plus 2 times sa second term, negative 3x plus 2 times the constant 1. So simplify ngayon natin. We have x times 2x squared. It's equal to 2x cubed. So same base x, add the exponent. And then x times negative 3x. So we have negative 3. x times x, same base only, add the exponents 1 and 1. So we have x squared. Plus x times 1 is just x. Then next we have 2 times 2x squared. So 2 times 2 is 4. Then copy lang x squared. Then, 2 times negative 3x, so that's 2 times negative 3, it's negative 6. Then, copy the x. Then, plus 2 times 1, it's 2. Now, pwede natin i-combine yung similar terms. So, for 2x cubed, walang similar sa kanya, copy nyo na lang. And then, itong negative 3x squared, saka 4x squared, pwede nyo combine So, what is 4 times negative 3? Positive 1, right? Then, just affix the x squared. So, we have 1x squared or simply x squared. Okay? Then, itong x plus negative x, pwede nyo combine. So, may coefficient to na 1. So, we have negative 6 plus 1, negative 5. Then, a fix x, right? Then, plus 2. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Next, for number 2, we have negative 2x squared y plus z times 4x cubed y squared plus 5x cubed minus 3z. So, ganun ulit. Multiply muna natin itong first term ng binomial sa bawat terms ng trinomial. So, we have negative 2x squared y times the first term is 4x cubed y squared. Okay, plus again, yung negative 2x squared y times the second term naman na 5x cubed plus negative 2x squared y times the third term negative 3z. Okay, next, ito namang z. Multiply natin sa bawat term. So, we have plus z times the first term. It's 4x cubed y squared plus z times the second term, 5x cubed plus z times the third term, negative 3z. So, simplify ngayon natin. So, negative 2x squared y times 4x cubed y squared. So, multiply natin yung negative 2 times 4. It's negative 8. Then, yung same base, x squared times x cubed. So, copy the same base x and add the exponent. 2 plus 3, it's 5. Then, y times y squared. So, same base, copy y. Then, add the exponent. 1 plus 2, it's 3. Next, negative 2x squared y times 5x cubed. So, multiply muna natin tong negative 2 times 5. It's negative 10. Then, x squared times x cubed, same base. So, copy the same base x and add the exponent. 2 plus 3, it's 5. Then, copyin lang natin tong y. Next, we have negative 2x squared y times negative 3z. So, multiply muna natin tong negative 2 times negative 3. That's positive 6. And then, x squared y times z. Wala namang same base. So, copyin nyo na lang as is. Yung x squared y z. Next, plus z times 4x cubed y squared. So, sulat ko muna yung constant 4. Then, sa variable, wala namang same base. Kopihin na lang natin as is. So, umpisa natin sa x cubed, y squared, then itong z. Next, we have z times 5x cubed. So, multiply lang natin. Pagtabi-tabihin, 5x cubed, then z. Then, finally, z times negative 3, z. So, kopihin nyo muna yung negative 3 as coefficient. Then, z times z, same base. With exponent 1, so copy z and add the exponent, 1 plus 1, it's 2. So, wala naman tayong similar terms, right? So, wala tayong combine. So, therefore, ito na yung final answer natin. 
Okay, now it's your turn. So, tayo nga namang sagutan itong problems and just comment your answers.